Iron Sight has a lot of attachments. Let's run through every single one for the assault rifles. Right off the bat, you're given the holographic scope for free in case you're scared of using your rifle like a real man. It's not a bad sight by any means, but it's easily outclassed by sights earned later. Simply put, it does its job, basic but efficient. At level 3, you'll get modified rifling, which will increase your damage at close to medium distances. Very helpful boost on any assault rifle. After a couple levels at level 5, you're given the ACOG scope. This one's really a toss-up because it really comes down to what rifle you're using and how you like to play. It has a very nice cross reticle and it's easy to line up targets with. The SA-58, OSW, SCAR-H, and for some reason the AK-12 get extended magazines at level 6. It does what it sounds like it would. It gives you a bit more bang for your buck. Level 7 gives you the muzzle break, which is going to reduce your horizontal recoil a bit. It can be handy, but it really comes down to understanding your gun and if it really needs it. Weapon level 9 grants the glow on sight, which is your first really useful sight. It makes your gun look twice as sci-fi and makes a satisfying little ping when you place the reticle on someone. When you hit level 11, you'll get the precision barrel that basically does what modified rifling does, but better. Instead of helping damage-wise in medium to long distances. Two levels later, at level 13, you get the quick shot sight, which is your gold standard Call of Duty red dot sight. There's no need explaining this, slap it on any gun, it'll probably do the works. You can't go wrong with it. At level 14, you'll get the laser sight, which is going to help you compete against SMG rushers by increasing your hip fire accuracy. The actual hip fire accuracy increase is small though, so honestly I really only use it because it looks cool. One level later, and you're given the compensator, which will decrease your vertical recoil a bit. Similar to the muzzle brake, you really just have to play with it and decide yourself if it's worth using. The second most sci-fi attachment is unlocked at level 17. Although big, the monitoring site is quite useful as you can see a target's health, which can be extremely helpful in modes like search and destroy where communicating how wounded someone is can be vital information. Arguably the best low magnification sight, the clear sight at level 21 not only is insanely sleek but offers the best view window with its small reticle and even shows you your magazine count to help you think faster, all while looking very cool. A high level unlock and understandably so, at level 23 the silencer will keep you off enemy radar when firing, which will help players that are always on their feet looking around for flanking rounds to get behind or around the enemy. In most cases the most disappointing unlock is at level 25 with the rifle scope which has a 4x zoom. This scope usually adds far too much of your rifle and often exceeds the effective range you have to work with. But with guns like the HK417 and M39 EMR it can prove a fun and worthwhile choice for players that want to walk the thin line of marksman's rifle and sniper. Your final for standard assault rifles is the detecting sight which is by far the most sci-fi optic in the game. Marking targets in your field of view in bright red even if they're covered behind smoke, a handy sight that can give you an edge all while showcasing your commitment to a weapon. If you're using a semi-auto rifle, instead at level 29 will grant you the Viper Scope with a 5x magnification, which will allow you to fully accept yourself as a closet sniper. It's honestly pretty fun to use and with its quick scope in time it can be quite satisfying once you get used to it. Since this was meant to be a quick video, I'll be honest and say I didn't really explain attachments like modified rifling and the compensator all too well, but thankfully for all of us, Gnome Dolph being the angel he is has already made videos explaining how these and other attachments work in great detail. I'll link those videos in the description of this video and I highly encourage you to check out his channel if you want to learn more about this game's mechanics. That's all for now, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, have a good one.